called another audible. Uh, we went to Valentina's. It's our second time trying to go to Valentina's. We learned that they do online ordering. You order, um, you know, they have a, a QR code and you order and then you wait 35 to 40 minutes. We didn't want to just sit there for 35, 40 minutes. So we figured we'd go to uh, Salt Lake instead. And the memory that I have the first time coming to this place is exactly like it is now. I step out of the car, I am, I don't know, 100 yards from the restaurant and I'm overwhelmed with the smell of barbecue. It's different than the other barbecue places. It's because it's an open pit barbecue. Um, and I think that's why it's like, it's just this overwhelming awesome smell. So I'm super excited to be visiting an old favorite. trying something different here. At least I'm gonna try something different. My lovely camera person has made it very clear that she is not interested. Would that be correct? In, in the, uh, uh, we're gonna get a bison rib. So I've never had bison. Um, it, it, it's a smaller rib than a beef rib. Um, it looks to be about half the size, I'd say, of a beef rib. But um, I'm excited to be giving it a shot. So we ordered the brisket and bison plate that comes with beans and whatnot. And then we also ordered um, a half a pound of uh, pork ribs, which should be roughly two ribs that we can try. And we, of course, uh, at the request of my camera person here, um, so what did, what did we get? Peach cobbler. That's right, peach cobbler. And she said, yeah. would you like it with ice cream? That was a tough decision. <laughs> I don't think it was that tough. <laughs> anyway. So uh, we are now awaiting our meal here in, so, so it's interesting, uh, the original building, this is the original location, but the original building is actually next door. This is like an expansion building that looks to be at least twice the size, maybe three times the size of the original building. And during the week they run it here, and then during the weekends they run uh, both. Yeah, if you wanna give a, give a good look around there. But uh, they still use the same exact cooking method here that they use uh, in the, the other building. And obviously the same cooks and all of that. So. Okay, so first off, I want to make a comment to Texas Larry. Uh, I made sure during this filming that my lovely camera person got to eat some brisket before. before. Did I say, did I? Yes, you okay. did. Okay, all right. All right, because there was a comment, you know, but it's time for me to taste the brisket. It's interesting, the brisket looked a little different. Like it was like big, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a shot. Very different flavor. I like it. It's still tender, still juicy. So very tender, very tender. Um, let me get another um, another opinion here. Um, it's very tender. Not um, not overly seasoned. Yeah, certainly not overly seasoned. It's beautiful. It's, um, I think it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. While while we got the camera. This is the bison rib. It, it, it's like a half the size of a, of a beef rib. So you can clearly see already that I've already been chewing, but. I, it's got the consistency of a pork rib. Like when you bite into it, like the beef ribs are huge and they feel more like you're biting into a roast than a, you know, than a rib. This feels like I'm biting into a pork rib, but with the flavor of a beef rib. Um, I'm gonna say massive thumbs up on the bison rib. And um, you know, hey, you know, while we're on camera, get a shot to the pork rib. It's my favorite, so far. Hands down the pork rib, I think it's the best thing here. Um, anyway. 
Oh, where? To live up to your expectations? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my palette here? She brought us two burnt ends. Um, this is a burnt end. So it's interesting. It's literally just a burnt end. Like it's it's the end of the brisket. Like they, they haven't sauced it or anything like they do with some of the other things. It's just a piece of the end of the brisket. Basically, a big mouthful of brisket with the with the uh, bark on it. Yeah, so you're thinking you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I thought you did. Okay. So thumbs up on you know I, I don't I don't think the, I don't think the waitress is right here. I don't think the brisket's in the same class. What? I don't think so. I, don't I think do. It's in the same okay, well, clearly, we don't share opinions. It's good. I think it, it's different. Okay. Well, you know. This is where the subjective nature of barbecue comes in. Um, there's nothing to be ashamed of here. Um, I think the brisket is good. I think it's just just a little bit different than what we've had at some of the other places. She does not agree. Um, she is welcome to her own opinion. By the way, the other interesting thing about um, the, uh, where are we? <laughs> the Salt Lake. Is their mustard-based uh, barbecue sauce, which is, um, I've had before. And uh, I'll be trying it again, but uh, I enjoy it. But uh, it's definitely something that sets this place apart. Anyway, thanks for watching. So my lovely partner is a big fan of peach cobbler, and I had peach cobbler on the menu. So I, you know, we had to try it, and it's a nice big bowl, and um, it's breading. And it, she's that. is amazing. That's the, I think it's the best dessert we've had this week. Yeah? But yeah, it, yeah. It, it may be Thai with the banana cream, but this is like more complex. I yes, think, it is. Cream. You know, um, it's very sweet, but not overly sweet. Because um, the ice cream cuts right into the sweetness. Yeah, yeah. Balances yeah. out. Um, if you do come here, you gotta order the combo. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay. okay. Final thoughts on Salt Lake. We we weren't. I wasn't even gonna come here. It wasn't on our original list. It's not. It's not listed as highly rated as some of the other Texas barbecue joints lately. It used to be like the number one, uh, and now it's not listed in the top 20. I don't know why. It, it was honestly, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. The. Um, uh, my lovely camera person thought, did you think this was the best brisket you had? Or you uh, not really the best, but definitely it's up the, in the top. You really enjoyed yeah, the really flavor enjoyed it. specifically. Yes. She thought that it was a real smoke forward flavor. Um, I, uh, I really enjoyed the brisket. I didn't necessarily, again with the cutting, right? Uh, we can have another discussion at another time. Uh, I prefer really the cutting method that really goes 100% perpendicular to the muscular structures. And this was more diagonal. Still I tender. Know. Still tender. I mean, I just you think despite it could be more that, more tender if they cut it slightly differently. The um, the bison rib was uh, uh, I don't know what to expect. I didn't know what I was going to expect, but it was very tasty. Again, uh, I stand with that uh, consistency or the feeling of eating a pork rib, but the flavor of eating a beef rib. The guy said that he thought it was leaner than a beef rib but a little more gamey i didn't get any gaminess at all so i don't know what he was thinking there that peach cobbler oh, oh the pork ribs were my favorite of what i had here they were absolutely wonderful and i do like the mustard sauce as do you right yes yeah, definitely you really like that mustard sauce and then finally the peach cobbler <laughs> the peach cobbler was amazing um it, it just really was you know put us over the top of course that peach cobbler is also the reason why we did not stick with our plan of not eating too much because we still have to go to Valentina's. Uh, but we're going to drive the devil's backbone first. So thumbs up for this place and uh, I definitely think it's, it's worth the drive.